Hey guys, I just uh, charged these for a few hours and they both should be fully charged. If you look at if you look at this is green, it's supposed to be green, they're flashing. See that? That means they're fully charged. This is the pro and this is the nine nine bot mini and this is also flashing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the app and see uh, what the um, uh, what the charge uh, percentage is. Let's take a look at the mini first by nine bot and unplug it. Turn it on, and then we're going to connect to it. Hopefully, you can see it. So it's connected to it's connected to Aiden Nine Bot. Let me try the other direction. From this direction, it's a little bit. From this direction, it's a little bit better, less clear. So we're connected to Aiden's nine bot, which is uh, this one, and we're gonna take a look at the battery, which is under electric quanti uh, quantity information. You can see that uh, the battery itself is uh, rated for 4,300 uh, milliamp hours, and the current remaining capacity is 4378 milliamp hours and remaining battery charge is 100 percent right so um, this looks fine and uh, when we go back out into whatever we have remaining 14 miles per hour range so the funny thing is that one the the pro version so we're going to turn this off and uh, connect to the uh, the Pro. Ouch. So we're going to unplug this one. Turn it on. to the Pro, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, oops, the Pro, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay, sorry, <laughs> and you see the remaining uh, miles uh, is 15 miles per hour. 15 miles and then if we go to the battery information which is under set settings and electrical quantity information here's the really weird thing you see hundred percent but only 4800 milliamps if you scroll down you'll see that it's supposed to be 5700 milliamps so the problem here is why isn't it charging to hundred percent uh, I have a theory, which is that uh, Segway uh, decided to, or Ninebot decided to keep the state of charge under 100%. Even though it says remaining battery percentage is 100%, it's not choosing to uh, charge to 100%, just like on the Tesla. So I, I, I have Teslas, and they don't recommend charging lithium-ion battery cells to 100% all the time. It uh, degrades the battery a lot quicker. So this is actually charging to 70% or 69%, which is really, really low. So it looks like they're not allowing you to, as a consumer, to use 100% of the battery, which is uh, really weird because you bought it 
for the 5700 milliamps uh, and uh, you're only getting 4800 milliamps so this was a surprise to me and uh, it's a very strange thing to do for these um, personal transporters and I hope they fix it so that we get the f full 19 miles per charge of range on the uh, the more expensive unit. We paid triple the amount, we should get the 19 miles of range or the full charge instead of getting um, a thousand uh, amp hours less than we paid for. So anyway, hope you, uh, you found this informative and uh, if you have a a pro, you should uh, call them and ask them why, because uh, I, I surely will. Thanks for watching, and uh, remember to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Thanks.